Hi Wallabies, welcome to Community Living with your girl Malebu. If you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe. And if you're stopping back by, you know the jingle by now. So sing along with us. Welcome, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so with me I have the lovely uh, Kanyisilo Yotando. So she's going to be taking us through what she does as a cybersecurity specialist. Yeah, she yes. works for one of the big four consulting firms in the country. Uh, or universally actually, not just the country because it's that big. <laughs> so she's going to be taking us through her journey, uh, who she is, what she does, and how did she get to where she is. Um, so please do a brief introduction of who you are and yeah, so the lovely Our Love is Baga Community Living, they can get to know you. Okay, thank you. So my name is Kainsele Yotando Moyo, I am a cybersecurity specialist. Mm -hmm. I'm sure some of you have not heard the term before but it's a buzzword these mm -hmm. days. Um, I studied chemical engineering but I landed in cybersecurity so I guess it's a twist and I can explain to you guys how I landed in cybersecurity having an engineering background. Mm -hmm. um, I am 25 years of age so I'm a young professional also she's a tiktoker mm -hmm. yes so I am a tiktoker <laughs> so um, I share content on property investments right so if you want to buy your first property mm -hmm. and you're a young professional and you don't know where to start then definitely I'm your person what is your career field or position if you were to like just describe it not like really a definition per se but how mm -hmm. you've experienced your career field what would you say it is like just to give you a background, I've been a cybersecurity specialist for about mm -hmm. um, three years. This is my fourth year now, mm -hmm. right? So um, straight out of varsity, I started in the field. So I've got about three years worth of work experience. Mm -hmm. So cybersecurity is basically protecting organizations' IT infrastructure from unauthorized access, mm -hmm. right? So because it's such a multifaceted uh, um working field there's so many things that we do mm -hmm. so for instance what we have to do is if you come to us and you say hey i need you to protect my it systems what we mm -hmm. have to do is first establish what exactly you need us to assist you with mm -hmm. do you want us to assist you with the governance side of it mm -hmm. or do you want us to protect your applications mm -hmm. do you want us to protect your network security mm -hmm. do you want us to do um do you want us to hack your systems to see how strong mm -hmm. they are? Mm -hmm. um, do you want us to, to oh, so does that. Oh, that's the, is that as well, right? <laughs> um, I didn't know you guys can hack into people's systems. So yes. does that mean that you can hack my phone? Or it's well, more complex than that? Well, so there's ethical hacking and unethical yes, hacking. hacking. So if okay. I'm hacking into your phone, that's the unethical. Ethical. And that is what is mm -hmm. illegal. But what we do is ethical hacking or where mm -hmm. if you tell us, to come and hack to see how strong your systems are, mm -hmm. we actually do that, right? So that you can see the vulnerabilities and you mm -hmm. can patch up or cover up before an unethical hacker comes in mm -hmm. and gets into your system, right? Yes. So that's something else that we do. Mm -hmm. um, so really depending on what you need, we come in, we scope the work and then we assist you with it. Mm -hmm. But it's so multifaceted. There isn't like a one word answer for it oh, because there's just so much that we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And from the hacking part, do you need, let's just say, coding or programming language? Like, do you need that for your day to day? Or that is more on, um, like, other teams do that? Maybe you mm -hmm. do the governance. What What is your day to day looking like in terms of coding or programming language? Are you sitting there writing codes? Or are there, you know, codes already available for that to just say, okay, if we are checking this, mm -hmm. we can just use this code and stuff like that. So I just want to understand the level of coding required for the role okay so so like I said cyber security is multifaceted right mm -hmm. so there's a non-technical side of it in this te the there's technical, technical mm -hmm. side of it so the mm -hmm. non-technical side of it is um, the governance side of it mm -hmm. right so preparing your 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 um, IT environment mm -hmm. for a particular IT, attack. IT infrastructures yes. basically yes right okay. so we get the governance do you have the policies in place do you have the people mm -hmm. um, do you have the technology in place right mm -hmm. so we assess all of that and with that you don't really need to code every mm -hmm. single day mm -hmm. but if you're going to get into the technical side of cyber security where you come in and you're a hacker some people call it penetration testing right mm -hmm. so if you want to look it up it's penetration testing if you're going to do that then have Having a coding background is it's very, essential. very essential because okay. you're literally going to be um, doing coding. that on yes. a daily basis. You literally mm -hmm. are going to be doing that, right? Mm -hmm. So you do need to have that background depending on which side of cybersecurity you want to fall under. Mm -hmm. So now because I have an engineering background, when I got into it, I didn't really do a lot of coding in university because I did mm -hmm. chemical engineering. Mm -hmm. So it was more of like process engineering. Mm -hmm. um, although I do have a, 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 a coding 
coding a background, mm -hmm. it's not as strong. So yeah. I fell into the, the non-technical non side, side, right? Of so it's the security. Yes. Okay. So basically, I help clients build a strategy mm -hmm. around cyber, cyber security. security. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I guess for people that are sitting at home wondering, should I go to the technical route or non-technical, you sort of have an idea of like mm. what the two roles entails in cybersecurity. Mm. Can I just add something yes, onto that? you can. So um, <laughs> as much as you can fall under the non-technical side, mm -hmm. you can learn very quickly on how to get into to the, the technical, technical side. Right? Okay. So um, I, think, I think I'm quite fortunate where I work you can easily dabble into mm -hmm. different pillars so mm -hmm. even if you are, you're non-technical you do have opportunities to learn mm -hmm. how to be a technical resource so it's not difficult right mm -hmm. it really isn't difficult learning how to code learning how to uh, uh, maneuver, maneuver around, around systems, systems. Yeah, spaces. so mm -hmm. it, it's 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 not a straight and narrow basically. okay and do you prefer the non-technical or technical role in your experience so far as you said that you can mm -hmm. dabble between the Both. two uh, but then you're more on the non-technical role. But mm -hmm. if you were to sort of see your career in the future, do you prefer the non-technical or the technical? I think personally, I prefer the non-technical, right? Mm -hmm. Even though the technical, I mean, I dabble into it sometimes for the challenge, but I really do prefer the non-technical, mm -hmm. especially because of where I want my career to go, mm -hmm. right? Because if you're focused more on the governance and the and building a cybersecurity strategy for an organization, then it's easier for you to ma to, to, to land in management positions. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go up, mm -hmm. right? And you want to as a code, yeah, on the coding yes, side, you on the become a specialist. A specialist. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing the technical bits, you become a specialist. But if you're doing the non-technical bits, then you learn how to look at cybersecurity from a broad landscape, mm -hmm. right? And you help clients from a holistic view, mm -hmm. where the technical bits are part of that. Yeah. So I get to know if you need us to come and hack, right? Mm -hmm. I may not be the one that comes and hacks, hacks your system, yes. but I can okay. be able to assess and be like, you know what? We need this we type need of this, hacker, right? yes, this type yes, of administration. Yes. Like and that. that's okay. why I prefer the non-technical side because I see you being able to manage mm -hmm. and grow more if you're in the non-technical space. Okay, I see. Yes. And then how do you become a specialist the non-technical side, I guess? I think we'll focus a bit more on the non-technical okay. and the technical role. Maybe we'll find someone who's in the technical role and okay. they'll um, uh, take us through that trajectory. So how do you become a specialist in that role? Basically. Okay, so you have to have certifications, mm -hmm. right? So um, that's why I was able to get into cybersecurity because um, I could be able to do certifications. So if mm -hmm. you're looking at the non-technical side, the what you would want to start with, especially if you don't have an IT background like me, mm -hmm. you do um, A plus, mm -hmm. right? Um, you can do Network Plus, you can do Security Plus. So mm -hmm. these are offered by CompTIA. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to drop the name down on, mm -hmm. on the, the description yes, box. Right? Okay. So you can get those three. So those are like the, they'll give you the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. um, but you got security. those through your company. You didn't do them prior to being in this role. I didn't. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so I got it um, while I was working, but it is an, it is advantageous for you to get it. To before. get it even before. Yes. Okay. It is, right? Then if you want to jump into the technical side, mm -hmm. um, you have to start with Linux fundamentals. Mm -hmm. You have to do your CH as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then you have to do your, I think it's OSCP mm -hmm. as well, if I'm not mistaken. If mm -hmm. I am, then we'll just correct it in the description. But mm -hmm. those are the certs that you're going to have to get if you want to um, train yourself up in the technical side. But there's so many certifications, <laughs> so many types of certifications. <laughs> so really, I think... I think but the, the three you mentioned are the most important ones. Fundamental. One. Okay, yes. perfect then. And what made you choose this field? Did it choose you or you chose it? <laughs> to be honest, it chose me. Okay. <laughs> it honestly chose me, right? So the opportunity came for me to get into the field and mm -hmm. I was I was keen for an experience. So mm -hmm. in my final year I was like, you know what, I don't I didn't really want to get into engineering. Mm -hmm. Um so I knew that I wanted to stream out and I knew that I wanted to get into consulting. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't very particular on the consulting that I get into. So when the mm -hmm. opportunity came up and I interviewed for it and I um, I landed the position. Mm -hmm. I just took it with open arms and I was like, no, let me actually learn what this is about. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. I wasn't very picky about it and mm -hmm. I fell in love with it while 
while you were doing it. Okay. <laughs> while I was doing it. Yes, I'm yes, not going to yes. lie, the first few months I was like, what <laughs> am I I'm doing here? Yeah. <laughs> I should leave this and go back yes. to engineering. Mm -hmm. But then once I spent more time and I realized what cyber security is about mm -hmm. and how you can grow in the industry, I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? I think I'm going to stay here. Yes, you okay. know? That's yeah. really nice when you end up falling in love with your career because it's so important, guys. You can't it be is. waking up every day it and is. Like, like, what you're doing. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> because you spend so much of your day mm -hmm. doing your job. So at the very least, you have to enjoy it. Um, the next question is, is the money and the opportunity to grow in cyber security? There is a lot of opportunity to grow because mm -hmm. it's an emerging career. Mm -hmm. right? So there aren't a lot of cyber security specialists in mm -hmm. South Africa. So there is there is a huge demand and mm -hmm. a very low supply because mm -hmm. the skills are currently not there. So mm -hmm. what I do know is that some companies are even willing to take um, engineers like mm -hmm. myself and, and upskill yes. because the skill okay. is actually not there. Mm -hmm. So right now is a perfect time for you to, to jump get into, into it if you really want to get into it. Mm -hmm. um, so there is growth and like I've been reading up on it and Mm -hmm. Apparently, they're they're projecting eleven percent growth in mm -hmm. the in the profession in mm -hmm. the next. Hopefully, like, you're part of that eleven percent. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So, like, mm -hmm. cybersecurity is growing, and the thing is, because everything is going IT or mm -hmm. everything is becoming digital, digital yeah. there will always be a demand for yes. cybersecurity specialists. Definitely, definitely. I think so, everybody is worried about. Yes. Um, privacy security and all those concerns yes. like even from a personal uh, level not just companies you mm -hmm. know as you said that you help companies to protect their systems if, but I think it's getting to a point where even it as, is, yes, you know, even as, as individuals. individuals where they're yes. like uh, am I really protected mm -hmm. and we don't know uh, like how the space will grow and you know just having those skills available mm -hmm. Um, I think will prove beneficial in the future, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Okay. You will always have a job if you're in cyber security. Yeah. Because and then the money. The money. Tell us the about money. The money. <laughs> we got the ching ching. The money. You know about the money. The schmuller. Okay. <laughs> there definitely is money in cyber security. Okay. Um. So depending on where you land up, so you mm -hmm. can get into consulting where you are. So your clients are the organizations that come to you and they want you to protect their systems. Mm -hmm. Also you can or you can go into industry where you work for those companies and they have cyber security divisions, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So there is money in, in cyber security. I'm not gonna you're not gonna go hungry. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> the more you have, we don't wanna uh, starve. Yes, yes. Especially especially if you have a lot of skills within cyber security because remember I said it's broad. Mm -hmm. So if you have a lot of skills then you're definitely going to be in demand. If you go on LinkedIn now, mm -hmm. there are so many cyber security roles mm -hmm. that are in demand and they last months because they don't actually find people so right, yeah with the right trust skills, me the with the right, right skills and so forth so there is mm -hmm. money and there's a very high demand Good. our second last question is mm -hmm. can you start a business and how many years do you feel like you need in maybe um like a company mm -hmm. before you can uh, opt for going solo you know so very controversial. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Very controversial, um, but yeah. I think honestly, before you even get to wanting to start your own business, you really have to have a lot of like experience, experience. Mm -hmm. especially in this field, because you're protecting IT systems. Mm -hmm. Like you, you have to know your stuff. What you're doing. Um, yeah. So I would, I would suggest. I mean, at the very least, five years work experience, mm -hmm. and you go and you do your own thing. Mm -hmm. So there are people that have left um, the company and they've gone and they've mm -hmm. started their own thing. Mm -hmm. So starting your own thing is not really the problem. Mm -hmm. You can do that because it's, mm -hmm. because the demand is there. It's just do you have the right the skills and to do it mm -hmm. and experience, right? So I think minimum you do need five years mm -hmm. um, experience. Mm -hmm. um, if you can also get management experience, that'd be great. Right? Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. you if you get into um, a company that that, you know trains you up and then mm -hmm. gives you an opportunity to be a manager mm -hmm. um, and then maybe director then you go up right mm -hmm. I think take that opportunity to get to the management level first mm -hmm. before you even think of branching out mm -hmm. and starting your own thing mm -hmm. okay. um, and also the more time you spend there the more you will see where the demand is mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. like, do, do, do people want maybe the governance side mm -hmm. of things do people want you to protect the applications their mm -hmm. network mm -hmm. do they want you to prepare them for like instant response or like protecting their data what exactly mm -hmm. is it that people need mm -hmm. and then you go into it so mm -hmm. yeah that is my that is my suggestion <laughs> okay mm -hmm. perfect then 
okay so guys you heard it yourself so at least five years before you're like okay i want something for myself and yes, i'm gonna get yes. it okay mm-hmm. and also the management role as you mentioned is mm-hmm. so important to get that experience that exposure and then after you can say okay let me try and do you know a mini can you see the time <laughs> consulting <laughs> cyber yeah. consulting any last remarks for our ladies like a community building uh, to have regarding cyber security yeah. anything that or anything that you want to say you know okay general. um i think maybe i'm going to mention something i recently learned mm-hmm. um i think it's quite important for you to challenge yourself if you're mm-hmm. going to get into cyber security don't just land into the field and only want to do one thing i mm-hmm. think because um the it environment is constantly developing you have mm-hmm. to be you have to constantly develop yourself and mm-hmm. move with the wave, right? Yeah, so be flexible. Be it's very flexible. Um, yes, career mm-hmm. growth. And learn as much as you can. When you're starting out, what I've realized is there's there's leeway for you to make mistakes mm-hmm. when you're starting out as a graduate, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. There's leeway for you to learn, make mistakes, ask a lot of questions. But, you know, the more you go up... It becomes harder to people, be like, I don't know exactly, this. Exactly. People <laughs> start asking you the questions because right. you have the mm-hmm. graduates to train. Mm-hmm. So I think if you're going to start in the career in the cybersecurity space, mm. really I think any explore space. any mm-hmm. space, mm-hmm. explore, 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 try out a lot of different things, um, mm-hmm. really broaden your skill set because mm-hmm. as you go up, you are going to need those skills, mm-hmm. right? Okay. So I, I mean, specializing is great once you know what you love, mm-hmm. but I think when you're starting off in the career, try out as much as you can see mm-hmm. what is out there before you decide what to specialize in mm-hmm. right um that goes for myself because that's something that i've like recently learned mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and you know as i go up the more i'm seeing that you know all the questions that i asked when i was first year mm-hmm. they, they come back ask, yeah, in, I, I can't ask them again yeah. yes but like <laughs> It's you have to know coming them back. now. You have to. You have know. to be the specialist when yes. they're asking you what is cybersecurity you governance have to know. from the top you of your head. You need to know that. Yes. You know. Um, no textbook, nothing. No <laughs> textbook, no Google in yeah, the moment. In the right? moment. Yeah. Um, and and the other thing is like look look for look for opportunities that do challenge you, mm-hmm. right? Um, I wouldn't advise someone to stay in one role for more than three years in cyber mm-hmm. security because like there's just so much to do so mm-hmm. there's that as well and the other thing is if you want to get into the career then you know if there's an opportunity for you to do your um, honors or mm-hmm. your masters in cyber security then do so because that mm-hmm. is going to help you mm-hmm. and this 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 is for me as and well. which institutions would you say um, are some of the best ones to go with for maybe masters not even honors I feel like like I've recently found out that honors is useless. Okay. So please <laughs> so please if you can jump that. Nowhere no. else in the world do they they don't even know what an honors is, guys. Mm-hmm. When we say we have an honors degree in something, they just like mm-hmm. they don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I think I was lucky because my honors was part of my mm-hmm. degree, so I don't really mm-hmm. have to do honors, yes. right? Um, but what I do know is that UJ right now offers um, like a like an honors. Um, I think even masters in cyber security, mm-hmm. but you can also do it internationally, right? Mm-hmm. So um, some of my team members are not even doing their masters in South Africa; they mm-hmm. do it internationally. Mm-hmm. So also broaden up your scope as well, because yeah. you can do it online. You can do it the you online do it component online. of it is yes. so nice. Yes. Um, so you can study anywhere in the world right now. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's it from um, Kanye, and we thank you very much for uh, you know availing yourself and sharing your insights on cyber security. So I'm sure everybody now has an understanding of both the technical and non-technical side of cyber security uh did we pray we forgot to, we pray. Forgot to pray okay so <laughs> <Not too> excited <laughs> we got right into it so now we're gonna start off with prayer so mm-hmm. she's gonna take us through the prayer that she prepared because she knows how we roll <laughs> on the side <laughs> yes okay, okay so we can all right okay let's pray mm-hmm our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you for the opportunities that you give us every single day. Thank mm-hmm. you for the connections, the resources, and everything else that comes with it. Thank you for mm-hmm. 
gift of life um lord um how we pray that right now this episode that we have recorded may reach the right people mm -hmm. how i pray that it may help someone um, who wants to get into the cyber security field and it may inspire them and lead them in the right direction mm -hmm. but how i pray for um the ministry that malibu is um doing here on youtube how i pray that you may grow it how i pray that it may go in the direction that you want to grow may she meet the right people and may this become a platform um that you use her Lord, I pray all of this in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior. Amen. Amen. We thank you. Um, it's a yes. pleasure. Thank you very much. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>